Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to this week's Jailbreak Update video. So some major releases and accomplishments have happened within the last week. Honestly, mostly within the last two days. First up, yet another iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak has been achieved. Now, not only by Keen Lab, but a second contender, Min Zhang, has shared his success on 11.3.1. Secondly, a new iOS 11.2.x proof of concept project has been released and Coolstar has already started investigating this. Lastly, Cheesecake UFO, the developer of Houdini and the Saigon Jailbreak, tweeted out that he has successfully managed to get Houdini running on iOS 11.4 Beta 3, so we could be seeing a public update or release of that soon. All this and more in today's video, so stay tuned. So if you guys have been following along, I try to do a jailbreak update video at least once a week pertaining to this last week's major news. Obviously if something major like a utility release comes about, I promptly get a video out on that. But in weeks like this, I try to take at least one day to reflect on the past week and report on the major events that took place. So expect future jailbreak update videos on a weekly basis, but of course if something very time sensitive is released, like a new jailbreak, I will do a video on that as soon as it is released. Anyway, thank you guys so much for support and for clicking on today's video. Now let's take a look at some of the newest jailbreaking news that has come to light recently. So first up, the most recent news, as of about 7 hours ago, Min Zhang has successfully jailbroke iOS 11.3.1. Now I've talked about him in my past videos, but as a refresher, he is a trusted developer in the jailbreak community who is associated with the Pengu jailbreak team and is heavily involved with iOS security and new jailbreak developments. So I can pretty much guarantee that this video is not faked, as he really would not have a reason to do that. Anyway, just a few hours ago, he posted this to his Twitter account saying that iOS 11.3.1 is not a problem, with a smiley face and attached this video, which I'm playing in the background now. He first shows that he is running iOS 11.3.1 by entering the settings app, then he navigates over to his second page of apps to unveil the city icon on his home screen. He then proceeds to enter the terminal app to show us that he has achieved root read and write access on his device, and he goes on to perform his jailbreak. So first thoughts, this is just amazing work by Min Seng. He successfully proves that there's more than one way to create a jailbreak meaning it's possible for developers within the jailbreak community to still create jailbreaks and furthermore that the jailbreak community is not reliant on major security research teams like KeenLab to create jailbreaks for them. Even with all of iOS 11.3.1's major security enhancements, it just goes to show that no software is perfect. So Min Zing has accomplished a ton here in the past few weeks. He initially found a zero-day kernel bug that survived in 11.3, he then proceeded to get root shell running on said firmware. He even along the way gave us updates on his progress and clarified a major barrier that was holding him back from achieving a full jailbreak. And now I'm not sure if Coolstar had anything to do with this, but it looks like he tweeted to Min Zhang that he may have a solution to his problem. And then just one day later, Min Zhang tweets out, just kidding, we're all good, it's a real jailbreak now, this time for 11.3. Then to put the cherry on top, after all of that, he added today that he tested his jailbreak on 11.3.1, and it works. So now comes the question that is on everyone's mind, will he release this? Well, he stated a few days back that he submitted these vulnerabilities to a talk, and if that information gets accepted, he will disclose these vulnerabilities and maybe the exploits that he's now created to Apple. And once Apple has patched them, he will release his findings to the public. Now that being said, it still could be months before these exploits and vulnerability proof of concept projects are released to the public, and even when that happens, there are a ton of potential steps needed to achieve a full end user jailbreak utility like updating Cydia and finding offsets to support all devices, as it's really not clear from the video that he provided if Cydia will even launch, let alone function properly. So again, don't get your hopes up too high that Min Seng will release this to the public. It's really not even clear what he would release or what the purpose was of him posting this video to YouTube. Is it just a proof of concept project? Is he going to keep it for himself? Really, we will just have to wait and see if he updates us further on his progress. That being said, one major public release did come from all of this. So while all of this was going on, remember I said that Coolstar tweeted to Min Seng to help him fix a problem that he ran into. 
Well, Coolstar stated that he found a solution to his problem, but also noted there was no public kernel-level exploits available. So while in Min Sing's case, he may have a private exploit to achieve his jailbreak, that does nothing for us in the jailbreak community until it's released. Well, Chris Wade replied to Coolstar saying that he has found a kernel-level vulnerability that's present on iOS 11.2.6 and below. He then attached a proof-of-concept project and sent that to Coolstar directly on Twitter. Now, this project has since been removed from the site, but many users within the jailbreak community have saved this project to their computer, and hopefully Coolstar did the same. So while yet another iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak is rather astonishing, I'm honestly surprised myself that not one but two iOS 11.3.1 jailbreaks have been achieved on Apple's latest currently publicly signed firmware. While that is an awesome achievement by both Minzang and KeenLab, the news that I just talked about being the public release of a kernel-level vulnerability for iOS 11.2.x, that is probably the most important part of this video. Because this is something I've been waiting on for months now. It is one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle to create a public jailbreak for iOS 11.2.x, meaning iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.2.6. Now that being said, I can't really say when a public jailbreak utility will be available for the end users. If you guys recall, a kernel level exploit was available for iOS 11.1.2 back in December of 2017, but the Elector jailbreak with Cydia was not released until February 2018. So quite a few months later. Anyways, like I said, one is potentially in the works for iOS 11.2.6. Coolstar himself actually has been tweeting a ton about this proof of concept project. It sounds like he may be interested in jailbreaking iOS 11.2.x despite his recent claims of leaving the public jailbreak community. I'm really not sure. It really seems Coolstar just enjoys doing this for the sake of creating a jailbreak, which I honestly respect. So hopefully with some luck, we will see further developments from him on an update to the Electra jailbreak. But one developer we can expect some new updates from is Cheesecake UFO. He as well just a few hours ago tweeted out that he demoed Houdini on iOS 11.4 Beta 3. Now that was a big surprise to me as well. This firmware has yet to be released by Apple, and it's already been somewhat hacked by a developer. So hopefully those users on 11.3 or above will see a public update to Houdini, which will allow for some customization to their devices until a full jailbreak or more exploits are released publicly. But again, with all that being said, I will repeat myself in every video if I have to, do not update your iOS software. If you're on iOS 11 to iOS 11.1.2, enjoy the Electra jailbreak for now. If you're on iOS 11.2.x, meaning any version of iOS 11.2 to iOS 11.2.6, absolutely stay there as a new kernel level vulnerability proof of concept project was just released and could very easily turn into a jailbreak here within the next few months. Now, if you're on iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.4 for that matter, the wait may be a little bit longer as there are no current publicly available exploits or vulnerabilities. But again, as we saw today, 11.3.1 can be jailbroken. And not only has this been done by Min Zhang as we talked about in today's video, but is also achieved recently by KeenLab as well. And while these jailbreaks may never be released, we at least know it's possible. So again, it's just a waiting game. Absolutely stay on the lowest possible firmware that you can if you want a jailbreak sooner than later. Even Ben Sparks, the developer of the Meridian jailbreak, which is the KPP less jailbreak for iOS 10 to 10.3.3, he tweeted out this. He states, I don't know why on earth people are even questioning the idea of updating to iOS 11.3. You will likely be waiting for months for a jailbreak. And he basically goes on just saying, be patient and stay where you're at. We know he is still in the background working on the KPP-less iOS 10 jailbreak for those users that are still using an iPhone 7 on iOS 10.x. It's still much more likely that you will receive a jailbreak for that firmware than compared to iOS 11.3.1, which is now the only firmware that you can update to at this current point in time. Also, some users on iOS 10 notice that when they enter the software updates tab that they have an iOS 11 update waiting for them. Now this is somewhat misleading as you will not update to iOS 11.0, but rather the latest version of iOS 11 being 11.3.1 as of recording this video. So don't fall for that trap by Apple. Anyway guys, what I'm getting at is do not update your devices on purpose if you don't need to. 99% of the time it's always better to wait on an older firmware as there are more exploits and vulnerabilities publicly available 
Thus, you have better chances of a developer creating and releasing a jailbreak utility for those older firmwares. Anyway, guys, there have just been some pretty amazing accomplishments happen within the last week and some major developments and public releases. I only expect some good things to come from all of this. Anyway, if you liked today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated on future jailbreak news, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching again. This is Tony, signing out.